first new information in the case of a Coleman County court referral employee accused of extorting sexual favors from women. We learned today that there are new allegations in this case, as well as a newly filed federal case. WIAT 42 News reporter Lillian Lalo has been investigating this story since early January. And Lillian, there are more alleged victims coming forward. Yeah, Sherry, according to the attorneys represented, representing those alleged victims, two minors have come forward alleging abuse from J.R. Vance. Now, according to attorney Melvin Hastings, the sisters were 16 and 17 years old when they were in the drug court program. Their mother asked them about Vance, and they told her that he also treated them inappropriately, such as watching them take their drug test. Now, Hastings says that if the allegations prove to be true, a whole new set of charges could emerge. I mean, we do know that there have been pictures taken on, uh, and pictures sent to cell phones and stuff like that that were requested. That's how one of the victims were identified. So if there's pictures of minors, that's a total different ballgame too. Now, Hastings also says that the drug court program has been suspended. Now, for the time being, no one can be assigned to drug court, and those remaining in the program are being tested at the courthouse. Now, coming up at, on WIT 42 News at 6, find out why the plaintiff's attorneys believe that there could be hundreds of victims that are too afraid to come forward. We'll also explain the newly filed federal case in more detail. Lillian Lalo, WIAT 42 News, coverage you can count on.